We are proud to announce that after months and months and months of searching, that the new co-host for Breakfast Television is Dina Pugliese. Thank you guys, look. I'm Holly. I love this. My new family by uh, well, emulating the one and only Kevin Frankish. You know that, the year was 2006, awesome. friends. The date, it was a Friday the 13th that marked my official I, start here on BT. Start taking notes. Watch how she explains this Okay, now. so here's the thing. So we are one month shy from my 14th anniversary, but we're in my 13th year here, which is a champagne BT birthday. I'll tell you this. <laughs> Uh, you said, were you so nervous? So your actual start date was the 13th of October, but yeah. because we're in the BT30 celebrations, we wanted to bring it forward a little bit so we could celebrate yeah. in the middle of it. Congratulations. Thanks, Roger. And I it was believe, a Friday almost the 14 years. Yes, there it I'm is. I'm going to throw these numbers around and we <laughs> can't so tell. so confused. How does it feel? Oh, man, it flies by. I'll yeah. tell you, looking at my family there, and Alex was there in spirit, but he said I'm never going to be on TV again, and he meant it. So <laughs> it was. I remember being so nervous for them, and there was. I remember when Liza left, I was doing entertainment hits for the show and much music VJ hits for the show once a week. So I felt very comfortable with the crew. They already felt like family. Mm -hmm. And they said, Dee, we want you for the job. I'm like, no, thanks. I don't want to do morning TV ever again, but I'll come once a week. <laughs> no, really. So they did like three to, to four, three to four months worth of searching. Yeah. And then um, it was like, I don't know, four months in, and the news director was like, Dina, it's you. Like, you have to do this. And here's an eight page letter from Kevin Frankish and his wife as to why you should do it. Awesome. I was sobbing. So it's because of that letter that I was like, maybe I can do this because I thought the hours is something I couldn't manage ever again. The hours are exhausting, but you can do it. And I was There's afraid no of like, arguing that. how much do you share? And it, it, I don't know. There was just like a lot of questions. And then there's my family there, of course, supporting. And apparently my mom and dad, who do not like the camera, <laughs> spoke. And I don't even remember this. So mama, papa, here's what you said then. This is the beloved Pugliese familia. This is my sweet mama who, who loves the camera. <laughs> <laughs> this is sarcastic. This is my sweet mama who, who loves the camera. <laughs> yes, I'm sarcastic. Mary Pugliese. My dad, Aldo. I'm and a celeb is... already. Aww. Yes, That's you are. It. I love them. Sharp and sweet. See? They're like, get the camera off us, Dee. Come on, Concise, we're just supposed to be in the background. Element. Yeah, so I always say it's, be, it's thanks to Cab that um, it, was, it was the de decision I never yep. actually made myself. And I can't believe you hesitated about it. I did. And thank goodness I'm here now because I have shared so many ups and downs. I've laughed till I cried. Uh, I, I've cried till I laughed. So many memories. <laughs> my gosh. Animals on my head, snakes, lemurs. Like, uh, Is there one that stands out? Oh, a lemur scratched me and I was bleeding on live TV. I remember Janina, <laughs> Tracy, everyone was like, you're bleeding. Oh, I think this was it. Is this it? I moved my head back, so it thought I was like a tree, and I went to try and hang on to my eyeball. You were as tall as a tree. I'm a disaster. Uh, we were handling snakes. Then, of course, there's all the stars that have been on the... There's stuff you do on this show that you otherwise wouldn't do. We've walked yes. the edge walk. You handle snakes and skunks. It's the great thing about this show, though, isn't it? What we are exposed to and what we are allowed to do. Yes. And then there's people who you've watched like, oh, like oh, this. Oh, yeah. You do not look happy. No, no. But you know what? We did the lean in and the drop back and all that stuff. Yeah. And then uh, there's been stars who I grew up watching, like Donnie and Marie were my very first Barbie dolls and poster in my bedroom. And then I got to interview them and I nearly lost oh, my mind. Oh, how incredible was that? Right? Yeah. Uh, there was a Stan Lee. He was in his 90s and he came in lit up. There and, you oh, there's go. Donnie and Marie. Donnie Marie. And I brought my Barbie dolls in because I still had them. Look at us, I'm practically sitting on Marie's lap. I was like, I couldn't get enough. Nia Vardellos, she has been a friend ever since. So there she goes from like my big fat Greek wedding and now she's part of our Italian, uh, Greek and everything else family here. Marty Short. Oh, is that Martin Short? Holy cow. We had weird moments, Marty and I. So Marty, the couch does one that. of the first movies I ever watched was Three Amigos. So Great to movie. be able to interview Martin Short, the yep. legend, and then work on Canada's Got Talent with him was amazing. This went viral. This was embarrassing. So shove a ranks. Yeah. Oh, I'm very embarrassed. I can't watch this. Let's hear it. No, that's not. <laughs> what was with my twang? I was so but nervous. Nothing has changed, though. You still do that twang. What's that waiver thing? I don't thing? know why I did. I was just that's like, awesome. please make this There's whole Stan thing Lee. stop. There's Stanley. Legendary. But at the end of the day, the thing and the reason why we do this show and get up the hours that we do is because of you yep. from Peterborough, Gravenhurst, all of the live shows. You pad your babies over to me. Nothing says trust like hold my baby. People come out in science. We're like, no one's going to show up every time. We're like, nobody cares. And the fact that you guys tune in day after day, we see your little ones grow up. Talia, who works with us, she's off today, came in as a young student in grade seven. And I remember meeting her. She said, I want to work with you guys. She works with us today. 
And we all go through life stuff. We all go through crappy moments. We have people get sick. I'm going to get emotional. I know and you are. I'm just waiting. waiting. I'm not going to stop you. Go. Go, Chris. You guys get us through because um, you're our support. <laughs> and we are such a family here. And we love everybody. Yeah, come on. Everybody else come in here. We love you. And we couldn't do this Jordy, without you guys. Jordy, bring it in. So when you say... Like, oh, I've been to many can... a hospital over the last few years. I'll talk this about is how much Jordy loves you. He gives you paper towels. Many ill tears. family members of all ages. And when people, when I see them in chemo wards, radiation centers, post-op areas, they'll say, oh, my gosh, you're here with a family member? How are you doing the show? And I'm like, this is how, because we all share in the realness. So when people yes. come up and say, I feel like I know you, or hey, at the grocery store, it is the best because what you, you love us worse than all. Right? What you see is what you get. Yeah. What, who's sitting here on the, on the chair, on the, on the couch is the real deal. Yes. And we all need laughter yes. because the world is filled with a lot of the other stuff. And this is what oh. connects us. Oh, Trace my gosh, Moore, T. How are you? We Tracy. actually really like each other. <laughs> we really, yes, we love we each like other. Each you other. have been a writer. Because I'm on TV. I'm on TV with, with no makeup. I really like her. Tr Tracy, we I love say you, this about you all the time. You have had my back in a million ways from day one. And I always will. And I know there's a lot of people who talk about women supporting women. They don't actually do that, but she is one that really actually does. And I love you for all of that, for always having Thank my back you, and being somebody to trust. BT is so my rider lucky to have you. I'm trying to <laughs> talk into your mic. So Thank lucky you. to have you. And guys, to family. all of you, thank you, that thank you, great, Tracy Peart, for painting my face after I cry right now every single time. You just ruined it. Um, and er everybody who's been part of the show, past and present. <laughs> Am I going on so long? Was uh, the yeah, orchestra? I think it's I, lovely. I was it's told. Beautiful. I was told to wrap about two minutes ago. I'm a disaster. You can go. <laughs>